Welcome to the Newbie Real Estate Investor Podcast. I'm Jonathan Boyle with my co-host Joey Chan. Uh, today we have special guests, Ruel and Lyndon. Welcome to the show. Hey guys, thank you very much first and foremost. Honor to be here with you guys. Thanks for having us and uh, showing us some love. Appreciate it. Yes, like I said, I always say, big respect to these dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you for having us guys. So um, let, let me start off with uh, I met these guys a few years ago and before they did any deals and they were looking for a contractor. So um, their friend and partner, uh, Anthony Rivera, big shout out to him behind the camera. Yep. He introduced me to these guys and they, and they were looking for property. So I came out and I basically you know, gave them the rundown on the property. And they were like, oh man, okay. So I was like, look, don't get discouraged, keep going, right? And then- um, Deal fell through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, but they kept going, right? So, but let the audience know, what did you guys do before you, you got started in real estate? You go ahead first. All right, I'll go ahead. Yeah. Um, so prior to our real estate lives, our, I was actually a nurse, been a full-time nurse even while we were flipping, but we had no background in real estate. So for me personally, I've done uh, nursing, I've done all different jobs, but prior to this is nursing and done is... As far as um, personally, I'm, I'm a physical therapist okay. and I've been a physical therapist for 24 years. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I know. So that's why, yeah, well, with, with investing right now, real estate investing, it's our third year. Mm -hmm. So again, we're newbie movie real estate yeah. so that's why and we're still learning you know the whole process yeah, so hopefully we'll learn also from you you know from you guys yeah for sure I mean I'm still learning too right always when we started the show we considered ourselves new and that was the reason why we called it newbie real estate investor you know it was kind of a catchy name and it kind of stuck yeah it's yeah. great and uh, a lot of people have copied from us believe it or not yeah. <laughs> the newbie name? Yeah, the newbie yeah, name. Even um, the newbie name. Yeah, and, or a variation of it. I mean, one thing that I could say though, with, with, you know, the good thing about what you guys are doing, mm -hmm. because again, for me personally speaking, because it, it, you know, when I first started doing real estate investing, it, it scares me, right? Mm -hmm. So at least with the newbie real estate investor, it gives, you, it, it gives the other people, an, or the newbie, investors or wannabe investors they, they want to start yeah. with the business you know they give them courage to jump in so it's a resource you know so that's a very very good thing I thought you yeah. know because everybody would say okay you know um, what is your experience you know they right. want to it's, it's scary it is, it is that's why it is. this this thing we hear what you guys are doing it's, it's a big deal thank you yeah thank you. Thank absolutely you. resource yeah. That's a good word for it. How, how'd you two meet and how'd you guys get started? Like, when did you guys have that aha moment? Let's just get started in real estate. Uh, so I'll take this one. Uh, little background. Um, again, before three years ago, to be honest, actually three years is coming up in two days. We started our LLC on one eighteen thirty, So we're wow. literally three year anniversary coming up. But prior to that, um, I was turning 40 and scrolling through Facebook. I see an ad for Fortune Builders. So another Fortune Builders alum. Uh, you know, you've, you've attended those meetings. Um, knew nothing, zero, about real estate. Went to the three-day. I was like, this kind of makes sense. You know, this makes sense. Why don't I go attend the, the, the longer, you know, yeah. uh, whatever immersion that they have. And it's a big investment. It is. As you know, it's a very big investment. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? It, it makes sense to me. Like, I'm a very logical guy. And if something makes sense, I jump in. So I said, you know what? I did it myself, not thinking Don was going to be part of it. I jumped in thinking I was going to do it and going to use him as private money oh. in my head. Okay. Right? <laughs> so I, did, I invested the whole amount. And then I said one day, I'm like, hey, listen, this is what I'm doing now. When I invest with me, you know, the pitch yeah. to your friends and to your yeah, family is sure. the first people you, you reach out to. And he saw how excited I was and how, how passionate I was and also how, how much it made sense. So he was like, you know what? Instead of being a private money lender, Let's just do it together. Yeah. And me and him have been friends for the last 18 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we've been friends. We're family. We're literally family okay. prior to getting into the business. Gotcha. So that's, why, that's how it started. Was it just me saying, hey, you know what? This makes sense. Go attend the three-day. Mm -hmm. If you want to do it, let's do it. 
and that was three years ago. Wow. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> but what sold you on going? Meaning, like, how did you find out about it? I, just Facebook. On just off of Facebook. Just Facebook ads. So you know when they say those Facebook ads work. Yeah. They, they did on me, you know what I mean? They, yeah. Mine though, you know, as far as fortune builders, right? Mm -hmm. I always see at night, <laughs> the infomercial. <laughs> really? I always, I spend a few, like maybe five, ten minutes. I'm like, this looks really like, you know, good. Because when you told me about it, so I always see it at night. So I give, like I said, I, I, I look at it in, you know, it's curiosity, obviously. So that's why I'm like, okay, so this is a good thing. They both made sense to us. Yes. Mm. Both made sense. So that's where we are, three, to three, three years later. Wow. You know, still here. Yeah. We survived. <laughs> Tell us about the, the absolute beginning, right? Did you get, how many properties did you look at and what did you do? How did you get your first deal? Like, kind of give us a uh, no. walk through, like after, okay, now you've been through the training, right? You went through the whole training to the point you got your first deal. So getting the first deal, always a challenge, right? Mm -hmm. um, so spent with every, with, unless you, you, you know somebody, if you're starting from scratch with us, with no connections, nothing like that. Uh, we, I spent a lot of time with agents um, with the pitch of, listen, you know, we're new, but whatever we land, we're, this is what we're looking for, we're investors, whatever we land, you can have the listing. And again, just out of nowhere, I, we must have looked, I myself, this was prior to Don, because he, he wasn't as involved in the beginning for looking for properties. I must have walked close to 40, 50 properties with agents. Yeah, so 40, 50 properties thinking everyone is going to be, yeah, the next this is the deal. Yeah. This is the deal. Every single one of those, you break down numbers, every single one, you know, not knowing anything, you have to look at every single one as if it's a deal, right? right. Yeah. So you spent time, energy to look at all that stuff. And further down the road, I end up meeting Anthony just out of the blue and, and Facebook again. And we connected and he's actually the one that bought us the first deal here in Kearney. So wow. big shout to Anthony, always been with us from the beginning. Oh. Yeah, he introduced us to you, so we've, right. you know, we've been riding with Anthony for a while, yeah. since, since the very beginning. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so crazy story though, but it, it was a lot of looking. Still okay. is. Still is now, yeah, to this it, day. It's a never-ending process. Yeah. It's a never-ending process. Part of it too is because when you deal with uh, realtors, right, like, like us investors, we always say you want to deal with realtors who are investor-friendly. Yes. Yeah, yes. no, so because a lot of the uh, the realtors they always look at the uh, the commission side of it, right? Mm -hmm. But um, good thing, you know, again, our um, you know our our senior realtor is on our side, you know, <laughs> bringing us deals. So you know, yeah. obviously, you know, he was looking more into a relationship more than anything. Yeah, that's why we all connected. Mm -hmm. Three years later, we're still still here. Still here. That's yeah. awesome. No, that's great to hear because, like. Believe it or not, I, I know I tried to reach out to a few realtors at the beginning when I got started. Uh, maybe I, I looked too young at the time. So <laughs> you no still do though, out. bro. You <laughs> still look young. If people didn't know. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's actually why I became a realtor because no one wanted to give me access after like one house. Yeah, so. it's not easy. Like, you know, it is work for them too, but they don't see it, the benefit of, you know, obviously connecting with us. So yeah. the one, if anything, for the newer guys, the one thing that you can do is connect with uh, um, investor-friendly agents because they, they know kind of, they understand what you're looking for. That's one little tip. Absolutely. Network, network with them. I connect with a lot of realtors, believe it or not, and the, the last deal we, we just got is through a realtor. Really? Yeah. It's off-market deal, but here's the thing a lot of people don't realize is that all deals before they hit the market, we're off market, right? Yep. So realtors are actually experts in finding off market deals. They're not just like, oh, we're a listing agent or we're a buyer's agent. The, they can actually help you so much. Yeah. And, and most people don't realize that. Utilize your agent friends or you know anyone, yeah. any agent. They don't have to be your friend. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that that's a good tip. Though. Yeah, but all from an agent. Nice. Yeah, was, yeah there was only two other uh, investors that were looking to see it. So, yeah. you know, it's a lot less competition than mm -hmm. putting it on the market and of course overbid. Yeah. Yeah. Overbidding. That's, that's the importance of your yeah. net. Your, your network. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, it's very very similar. I think uh, our other partner, Mark, or was it you that brought the that showed us the two family in Newark? Uh, it was me also. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's, uh, you know, he's all over social media, man. No, he's no, a guy, you know. No, he, he literally, literally there, was, there was only another, like, there's only another group that went to see the same property as us. Wow. So. Yeah, so it, th this was, again, off-market deal. It was actually sent to me by a wholesaler. So the wholesaler reached out to, to basically a, a bunch of whoever. Yeah, investors, yeah, this, investors, right? yeah. And he said, look, at 4.30, there's going to be a showing tomorrow so i was like holy crap we gotta make it yep and basically i, I said yes i'm gonna come 4 30 tomorrow we showed up at four actually we showed up before him we waited for him we actually looked at a house across the street first before, well, before, well you were there anyways yeah yep. we were there he came because the, the road got closed so he was kind of running late because of that you know like circle around or whatever yeah. and it was a one way it was a one way so basically i went uh, we, we looked at the other house, so we, you know, he showed us the house, we looked around, it was exactly like the picture, it didn't need a ton of work, right? And we said, you know what? The numbers he asked worked. Made sense. It made sense. Wow, that's uh, um, <laughs> from a wholesaler, yeah. From a wholesaler? Wow, okay. And then the other, the other party came in after us. They, they went in, looked at it. He probably gave him an offer, like 10K over asked. And we're like, you know what? We could do 15 over. Wow, oh, okay. No, it deserves a bidding more. Yeah. Well, well, well not really. It, it, didn't, it, didn't it still makes sense. Yeah. It still makes sense. Yeah. They, it would have been a deeper discount. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have gone 20 to 30. Wow. You know, wow, that's a great deal. Because it's, it's something where we're going to hold it for a while. Okay. Current tenant, well, not tenants, but the current it'll people be, living there bacon. is the homeowners. Is that in the contract? That's yeah, well, I mean, it's the homeowner lives on both oh, okay. units. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're going to move out, so it's going to be okay. vacant. Easy, so yeah. So we're going to have the opportunity to come and put new tenants in. Nice. You know, where... Like, like, you, like you said, in your situation, I think it's more of reputation more than anything. If they know you already that something is going yeah. on, you know, in the business, mm -hmm. you, you know, honestly, bro, the two of you, they know They'll you. They'll go to you guys, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, if there's a deal, most likely, then you're going to end up, like, you know, because you guys, you guys are legit, so that's why that I think that that makes it, it plays a big role. Yeah, you know. It it certainly helps. Exactly. It, it definitely helps. Um, I had another. So I'm kind of. We got to talk about this later. I have another deal. It's actually like near the border of New You're Jersey just and Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh no, I, I know. Uh -huh. Yeah, he knows the deal. But the thing is, it's in a flood zone. And so I'm kind of like hesitant to move forward with it. Just because of cost of insurance or? Well, yeah, cost of the insurance, the, 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 the days on market because oh, okay. of, it's like in the middle of nowhere. Gotcha. So the days on market is very high. Uh, but the strategy we're going to do may work, but it's still risky. Yeah. Regardless. So, you know, we, like I said, we, we got to discuss it later. Uh, and see if we're going to go through with it. I'm the only person that's seen this deal. Nice. nice. So, there you go. reputation. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. You know. That's why we're trying to get up on your guys' uh, show <laughs> up here, man. <laughs> get ourselves a little bit known, you know what I mean? Yeah. You guys have done some things I still haven't done. Right, exactly. Like, yeah. So, okay, let, let's let's talk less about us, more about you. No, yeah, I'm just, sorry. we're, no, not at all. We're like, hey, that, we're just happy to be in this couch, bro. We're, no, 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 we're no, like, no, uh, all right. No, like, all, all seriousness, I, I, I don't know what, how, how many deals you did before this, but I know, like, one of the deal or a couple of your deals now, like, you guys are getting to be known as, like, some of the ad level guys. I don't know about known. <laughs> I don't know about known, but we've done, we've done, like, uh, one. So. That was our fourth house. Uh, the first three houses, first one was a full gut, second house we added uh, square footage, third house we added, added square footage, and then we were like, you know what? There's really not much difference in scope of work. Then, then that's on our, by our fourth house, we were like, we can do an add a level, which we just finished up. So mm. yeah, we've officially done a whole add a level, like a legit one. Okay, well, <laughs> I mean, still, like, I don't, I don't think I've even done anything that's added square footage, so. 
you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. We'll yeah. give we'll give ourselves a little pat in the back for that. That's yeah. so still that, something. A, I think one thing too that I'm sorry. No, go ahead. That, uh, no. One thing that I could contribute also is because uh, with this other level that we that we made, right? We didn't really use a GC. We ended up GCing it ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we ended up actually. You know, uh, getting our own license, GC license. Mm -hmm. Nice. So yeah. yeah. So that's why this at the level. So I was like, if you know, we we finish it in six months. I'm like, that's not bad. Do it. Yeah, that's not bad. That's like worse. That's pretty good. That's that's, really good. that's excellent, actually. You know. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. We could have cleaned it up. If you're doing, a, if you're doing an at a level in six months, and you're GCing with two full time jobs, both of you guys working full time. I ended up. I ended up. I ended up. I ended up Firing myself last okay. quarter, yeah. So I, you know, to take over, Congrats, yeah. Man. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. So, Congrats. yeah, life. yeah. <laughs> living the dream. I always say, living the dream, right? Living so, dream. <laughs> so that's what happened. So we thought we could have cleaned it up better, where we could cut that timeline down. As you know, for us investors, time is absolutely everything, right? Absolutely. So if you can cut a month somewhere, that's a month's worth of hard money interest and private money interest. So yeah. we feel like we can definitely do it. It's not going to be something we're going to be intimidated by. Yeah. And all that it was was just us kind of believing in ourselves that we'll be able to do it. So we jump in, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a headache. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's, a, it's always a headache, believe me. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy to get through, no. right? You know that. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, adult levels are, I would say, in, in the space of uh, construction, is one of the toughest things to do, right? And you guys are kind of like mastering that, which is pretty awesome. Oh, thank you, man. I'll take that. I'll take that. Like we never really think about it. Yeah. We were just like, I mean, it was you, a project. I consider like a new build easy, much easier than really? at a level. Okay. I hear that. For at a levels, you have to deal with the existing. Okay? Yep. So even though you're gutting the entire space, now you have to make sure uh, the, the, the new staircase matches up yeah yeah you know you got to make sure little details like those yeah yeah the sides kind of match up you know the height all this stuff that you have to really think about yeah you know as you're doing the work yeah now now I'm thinking about it I'm like yeah it is a lot more difficult yeah. than <laughs> See, that's one yeah. thing that you know because you don't have to first of all you don't have to deal with demo in a new construction yeah. right <clears throat> and in a in a case where you're just gutting the house without adding square footage or anything it, it's a lot easier yeah because you're just gutting yeah. it and then just build on what's existing. whatever's there yeah yep. you don't have to worry about framing HVAC. yeah yeah not much needs to change uh, unless you're changing the you know like how the room the size of the rooms and things like that well yeah. we never give ourselves credit but hey thanks guys for pointing it out <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't give ourselves enough credit uh, no yeah. i think you do I, I don't think you do you know because I think yeah. it's it's kind of your personality. You guys are very humble. Oh, thank so, you. Thank you. I, just so you guys know, people are watching, and that's including me. Oh, <laughs> really appreciate exactly. that, man. No, we're it, we're we're definitely big fans. Oh, you know, uh, that means something to me. You know what I mean? Because I we look up to you guys. You know what I mean? You guys. What's the same? We try to same. we try to follow you. What you guys do? You know, respect. We're we're trying to do. We're taking we're taking the easy way out. <laughs> why do you say why do you say that why, why do i say that because we are our projects are much smaller in scope you, you know we don't do the huge heavy full gut rental even though we have one oh, coming up i was about to say <laughs> but I, like i think i've yeah i've only done two, two or one full gut and that had to change the layout and then another one that had to gut mo a good portion but you know, like kept the layout. So okay. Yeah, we try to stay away from that as much we, as we can. We, we, we try to stay away from it too, man. <laughs> but it, it, it apparently <laughs> likes you a lot. Nah. Well, <laughs> like I said. I think that that made sense on that. Deal. On that deal. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta do what's best for the that deal. deal. Yep. Exactly. So. Bottom line is, if you guys are spitting out your ROIs, doing the least amount, bro, I would do that all day. Yeah. All day, as opposed to again, it, the fact that we were able to complete it. I think we did a, a pretty good job. The house so. finished up well, you know what I mean? Yeah. So definitely something that we're not afraid of going forward. But if we don't have to, who wants the six months of headaches? Nobody. 
<laughs> Nobody, right? So I think we've all no, learned. But now this is your your career now. It so is. Uh, so absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You know what I mean. Looking forward to it. Definitely, that's something that's gonna be part of our repertoire. Because as you know, as investors, that's the quickest way to to get a lump sum. A, a big at a level project. So we look at it this way. Every money that we, we set aside for, those are kind of the scope of projects that we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Whatever you can put aside that goes into our multi-family portfolio eventually. So that's how we look at it. It's not now, it's not now money, it's stuff for, for okay. capital for later money. Okay. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit more on, you know, both your goals are uh, when it comes to your business? Yeah, you want to jump in or you want me to? Yeah, well, go ahead. As far as um, the goals, uh, ultimately, it's like what you guys are doing. Ultimately, we want to have a, you know, a portfolio, like, you know, a passive income. You know, that's our ultimate goal. It's always going to be like, a, you know, a raising capital for the flips. Once we earn enough money for a flip, then we just have to do buy and holds. You know, ultimately, that's what we want to do. I don't want to say it, but you know, eventually, <laughs> it's one thing also that we're trying to look into is, I'm, I'm sure you've heard of like um, assisted living. Oh, sure, so sure. that's another, Residential assisted living, that's yeah. another um, side of uh, passive investing. So that's, that's what we're trying to learn at this moment, what we're trying, well, at, at the current moment, like, you know, so we'll see how we, we, could, we can do this, but, but it can be done. That's one thing. Again, it's another uh, stream of passive investing. Mm -hmm. So aside from the uh, from the uh, the rent the uh, the owning doors in the apartment, then that's another one also. So those are the goals. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, and I'm I'm assuming just because of like your like medical background and everything. Exactly. Like that. Yep. Yeah. No, it's funny you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because we were actually looking at that. Yeah. Like there was an agent brought uh, brought to me like it was like an old folk home that was in Montclair that was selling, including the property too. Yep. Um, and unfortunately we didn't go for it because I think they were asking too much or something right. along those lines. But I, we got a taste of like what we should look at when it comes to that. So yeah. Yeah. That, that's, I'm glad that you guys have heard about it because literally in the next couple of months, we're going to go check out some REL properties. You know what I mean? The re, you guys have seen the cash flow on those things. Yeah. Yeah, it blows away the doors that we, when we count, as, you know, yeah. our idea of holding doors in portfolios, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous, the numbers. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. Oh, that was the other thing, speaking of which. The reason why uh, we didn't go for it is because the asking price was basing it off of having or being full-time. Full capacity. Well, no. No, not full no. Being full-time. Like, like self, like self, self, self managed. Self -managed. Okay. okay. Yeah. Versus what we would have had to do because like, you know, all of us don't want to focus on that yeah, yeah, solely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but the stuff that we're looking at are actually the turnkeys. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So the turnkey. So the same way when real estate investing, you can buy a turnkey flip yep. as your cash flow. This is a turnkey property for RALs. So again, these are plans, right? Mm -hmm. We're yeah. setting it. You gotta it. have. You gotta yep. have awesome. plans. Yeah. You know, so. So that you can look forward to it, execute, keep moving. Absolutely. That's all we do. Awesome. Me and him just. Just take action. Just do something, work towards it, and we'll figure it out as we go. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And sorry to, from one conversation to another, no. I just uh, thought about this because I remember Facebook posts you did uh, maybe a year or two ago. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So you were, you had like a few friends and family over showing them like the numbers when it comes to, uh, you know, like your real estate flips and things like that. So what do you guys do exactly to attract new private lenders and things like that? To be honest, all the people that we've had lent to us are just close family friends, the inner circle. We haven't kind of showed it out to everybody. The main reason for that is we didn't want to put our name towards something that we didn't know could be done yet. Mm -hmm. For us, it was big uh, to build foundation. So obviously family, friends, moms, parents, you know, they, they know who we are right. and they, they, they invested with us and we kept it. The circles were pretty small. It was people that knew us somehow. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. But again, that was just for us saying, listen, let us prove that we can do this. Mm -hmm. Then now is the time our fourth, fifth one going to be in the books. We know we can do this business. I was just running our numbers recently. I didn't even tell him, but uh, it, surprisingly it was in the, the last 
three years, we've raised 1.7 million, wow. right, for the five properties, right? It, well, that's including private and hard, but oh, you, okay. you've still had to come up with that, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's money that you had to raise for the properties, and we've paid out about 180K in, in interest. Oh, wow. Jesus. Right? So yeah, that, yeah, yeah. it's crazy numbers. But the fact that now I can say wholeheartedly, 100%, that when we say we can perform on these notes or these loans, whatever, whatever you say, being a private lender, I know I can guarantee that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's, no, of course, that makes sense. Yeah, I didn't want to throw it out there and not be able to perform. That was big for us, for, yeah. for me and him. Yeah, is because they, they need to show a track record. Yep. They kind of just invest to you without showing a proof, yep. basically. So. Right. Unless you're a really good salesman, then, <laughs> then people would, which we are not. We're not, you know, we're not salesmen. We're not at all. No, I, no, I, no, I, you, I, you I don't believe you. Uh? No, it's, well, no, it's funny because like, believe it or not, when I got started and I tell this to everyone, uh, when I had a deal, like I knew it was a deal in my heart and soul, but no one, no one believed in it. Not even my parents believed it in me in that, at that point, like where, it, I asked probably over a hundred people f for the funding for this and most hard money lenders didn't even really bat an eye to me either and they were just like if you get a good partner then yeah we'll consider it. I got it funded by you know like a f now he's a good friend of mine but like out of the blue by uh, basically an acquaintance Wow. who like I, he would call me up for like real estate comps and things like that. Okay. And eventually, you know, like we had one random conversation and then he was like, oh, what are you doing in real estate right now? And then that's I, it. Yeah. You know, nice. basically just brought yeah. that up. So yeah. it's just kind of funny. Like, the Just depending on, you know, like where you are in life with, you know, like with your friends and family, you know, believe it or not, I never even asked my parents. We didn't for our, for our, first, our first deal. We, we did all our own capital because <laughs> because because it, it, we couldn't say invest with us when we don't know what's going to happen right mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we didn't Even your family would stop you sometimes you know yeah what are you yeah. Doing? yeah so <laughs> we were like uh, you know what you know how to do this are you sure everybody yeah everybody oh no it's like that it's like that. um so big shout out to john also today he closed a deal with that same lender he just sold his house yeah. oh uh, man he sold his house and uh our other friend Simon bought it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yep. and when, when they say win-win situations, you can absolutely do that in this, in this business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where you find a way for everybody to eat. Is yeah. where me and him are always like, I, like I'm super happy for them. I just really wish Simon would have told me like three weeks before that. Why is that? Uh, it's a long story, <laughs> but I had the listing and then I told my friend that, that you know, like his house just sold that look, you know, I don't want to do a disservice to you. Like you should probably get another agent to do it, you know? Okay. So then he did. And then and Simon later came, no, Simon later came to me like, Hey, are you looking, uh, I'm looking for a place in this town. And it I was, was like, well, no, he was just looking for a place. And I was like, what's your budget? And then I looked at it, it like fit all his exactly. criteria for uh, his budget. Nice. And then I brought him to take a look at the property and he and his wife loved it. Okay. So it's like <laughs> you why couldn't you come three weeks sooner? A little sooner, a little sooner. <laughs> hey, you know what? Well, at least the, well the, the reason he, he kinda of bowed out was because he took a trip to Brazil. So uh, he didn't want to be the agent while he was in Brazil. While he was away. Yeah. yeah. Well, so that, that was you got thing. engaged in yeah, Brazil, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 So that's, saw that video. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome, man. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations. You. But hey, that was a bigger win for you, <laughs> <laughs> right? Look at it that way, right? We're talking about also about uh, being happy, right? Mm -hmm. So we're also happy because our um, the buyer of our other level is actually my bro, my brother. Yeah, so, yeah. Which is you know, which is I, I'm even we're even happier for them, you know. So. So Keep it in the family. <laughs> yeah, keep it in the, yeah. But did you make money? Uh, yeah, we, we, that's, a that, <laughs> that's a different story. How much money we could have made. I, I, I'm not going to upset your brother. No, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Say, just like, here, cut. Crap ton. <laughs> it was a great investment for them. Yeah. Let's just say that. Okay. It, it's a great investment for them. And that is, a, you know, again, it's, um, again, shout out to this guy too, because again, we're not thinking more of like how much we're going to be making. Mm -hmm. It's helping basically. You know, my bro, they've been here only for six, for six years. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know, so man, they have a family. So you know, they actually they don't even have they don't even have a plan of buying a house. No. And then they saw this house. I'm like, <laughs> they like it. They love it. <laughs> you know, I presented yeah, to this guy. I'm like, what do you think? You know, and he is kind enough to like you know give them like a deeper discount. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I could have been a, a not not a good guy and say. No. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, could no. we could no, make more it, money. Let's put it on the MLS and yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. Like it's this guy and this guy. <laughs> so you know, I have to be. So again, because we're we're working as a team and you know that is to the situation. So that's why you know, big shout out to them. You know, mm -hmm. love these dudes. Yeah. Now trust me. This whole January with all the with the closings that we've had and the ones I've had more directly, like one was my parents' house. Which I know I probably could have bought myself and made some money, yeah. but I didn't. There you go. Then yeah. my, the first contractor that I worked with. Yes, uh, that was great, I, man. I wholesaled them a deal, which you know I could have probably made some money yeah. too. Yeah. Well, I mean I wholesaled more. it. Made, I you could have made more. more. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, like. That's <laughs> that's great, man. It's not all about the money. It, yeah. It's, it's bad. I always say it's bad since we're entrepreneurs, right? But mm -hmm. money's like not my number one. The one thing I'm working towards, you know yeah. what I mean? That's not my one goal. It'll come. Yeah. That's the thing, right? If you help people, if you do the right thing, yeah. it, it'll come. 100%. Yeah. I believe in that. I believe in that. Too. 100%. So let's, let's uh, kind of jump back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about that first deal. What, what made you say, ah, this is the one Besides all the other 40 you looked at, <laughs> but this is the one we're actually going to buy. And, and then what problems you face? Oh, so I can, we can go on for another hour with that. We, we, we can, you know, I'll keep you the, give you the shorter version. Oh, yes, but you know how they always say, don't ever jump into a full gut on your first job. Mm -hmm. No experience, mind you, no experience. <laughs> Yeah. Why are you laughing already, bro? You, no, I'm laughing because you already know I, it. I, I, I did that for, I think, my third project. Yeah, and, and it's. I, and I still got culture shock, basically. <laughs> yeah, culture shock is a nice way to say it, right? Yeah. So, um, again, it was a deal that Ant brought to us, and uh, we put an offer in. And believe it or not, the offer said we did our, our work as far as, you know, the scope of work and all the. So, the biggest mistake that we did. On that first house, the biggest mistake is we pick the, the cheapest worker, GC, mm -hmm. to make the numbers work. Got it. Yeah. Biggest error that we, we, you know, afterwards we're like, wow, we could have avoided all of these if we had just picked the right GC. They could, could have guided us and saved us money in the long run. So just not knowing, uh, you know, this guy eventually, literally at halfway through the job, he's like, sorry guys, I underbid you guys to get the job. Right? This yeah, so again, <laughs> it's uh, it was a tough pill to take the first one, and but again, problems, unlimited problems, everything they come come up with that we, we we encountered, right? So we literally scraped our knees on the first one, and if it, we if we were just looking at it as a quick thing where people making millions off these flips, right? You know, everybody thinks flipping is. Of course. Like you, making you it rain, never right? Lose money. Yeah. You, you never pay, overpay anything. Yep. You never uh, like have to redo anything. Yeah. They they just see the finished product and that's it. But me and him, like we're like, we looked at this in the long, okay. definitely long term. We're like, you know what? Lessons learned. Let's get better. And since then on, luckily from the first one, we have improved. So that's one thing I can say. So did you guys make money from the first one? Or? <laughs> no. Lost <laughs> we lost money. Punch in the gut. Yeah, it was a big punch in the gut. Yeah, <laughs> luckily it was just our money that we lost. We didn't lose nobody's. The one thing I can say, 100%, all of our lenders we paid out 100% on time as promised. That's my that's my one thing I'm gonna say. 100% of our loans we paid on time as promised. So whoever is gonna lose money is me and him, no, not I anybody lending it. with no, us. I, I get it. Uh, unfortunately, I, that's the way it has to be. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. It has to be. Me and him would, would, we've had this conversation. Mm -hmm. Bro, we would look, we would lose all, all our houses as long as we paid lenders. Yeah, yeah. that's how reputation makes Yeah, sense. that's how much it means to us, you know what I mean? No, it, ma it makes sense. And I'm glad you guys mentioned that, like, uh, that you guys lost money and that you learned because most people, do, you know, like they won't say that, they won't admit it or anything like that. And realistically, 
you know, you could kind of think of it as like college tuition. Dude. Is that it? That's exactly like, what we look at. Like, that's that's perfect. <laughs> that's the, that's, the, <laughs> that's a perfect uh, say, analogy. Yeah. My, my Columbia tuition. So, you know, like, luckily I had uh, the, the military to pay for it, but my yearly Columbia tuition rounded up to around 80,000 a year. <laughs> so, yep, it's a tuition. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> that's the one thing we say for the three years that we've in, we just, we say this all the time, we feel like we just graduated college. It's a fresh slate. We've cleared out all our debt. We now have experience and we have tools now to approach this as a business, not as a side, side gig that, yeah, you know, you know it's, not a, it's not a side hustle that we're doing. This is our business that we're getting into. So, you know, you could tell people we only made so-and-so. Little amount in the last three years, would you do that? People will say no. I've, countless hours we've worked yeah. but the results financially is not there but i wouldn't Obviously. change i wouldn't change a thing that we've done in the last three years you know what i mean it, it, just because we looked at the bigger goal yeah no i, I definitely agree because uh like I, i've mentioned before uh the first like two years in real estate or so like i made little to nothing i barely yeah. like i barely scraped by like with you know like be, uh, I get a payment here, so now I have enough to pay, pay mortgage <laughs> for this month. I hear you, bro. Oh, I don't have anything. Okay, so I have to not pay the mortgage for two months. Like, literally, that's kind of like what I had to do. And then, like, the third year, everything just started clicking, started working. And then, like, you know, now uh, I have, you know, said with real estate that, like, realistically, I feel really blessed. Dude. Like Likewise. I, even with like what when COVID hit and everything, like I, even if all our, you know, I hope not all our tenants don't pay. <laughs> you guys even, were even if all of them didn't pay. You're good. Like would still, still be good. Fine. Yeah. So again, man, that's experience, and that's what we paid for for these last three years is experience. Yeah. Or else we wouldn't be able to sit down here with you guys and chop it up like we know what we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. So that alone it, to us is is kind of worth the tuition that we paid. And we don't always look at it as, it's no losses. It's one of my affirmations, no losses, always learned. Yep. You know, it's something that you, you learn from. You, you paid for the learning. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. So, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Yeah, so, um, what, what are you guys working on today? Um, as far as like uh, deals and things like that. So, believe it or not, the last five properties that we've had, we've, ne we've never done marketing at all okay. for the first two and a half years, three years of business. No marketing, which is kind of our biggest regret. We didn't put any money towards marketing. And I don't know if you guys realize this, but you put money in marketing, that's how you can have lead flow. It's not consistent. We realize, no offense to Ant, right? No offense to Ant. You can only count on, on MLS properties for so long. Sure. You can't count on kind of it as a, a monthly, these, are, these deals are coming in. It's a numbers game, right? So what we're realizing is we do have to put, invest some money in marketing, so which is what we started. We're doing um, driving for, a lot of driving for dollars, cold calling right now. Okay. And um, again, just starting out, we're trying to test out what works. Yeah. Um, I don't know what works for you guys, but uh, right now we're kind of trying to figure out our, our approach to marketing, but definitely big, big, we, we, we now say ourselves, to ourselves, we're, we're marketers that do real estate. We're not real estate investors that's doing marketing, right? We're, Cause yeah. that's the only way for it to become constant flows, yeah. you know? We hired our first VA. Yeah, wow. hired our nice. first VA, yeah. So we're yeah. We slowly. Did you did? <laughs> yeah, a few, few yeah. months ago. Nice, yeah. how did it work out? Uh, so far, uh, it's slow. Okay. But, you know, we're- it Takes time. Yeah, yeah it, it absolutely takes time. Absolutely. So you have to train them. You have to stay in constant communication. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so our, our VA is in the Philippines. Us too. And hopefully, it's not the same one. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> her, na <laughs> her, na her name is Eli. Shout out to Eli. Oh, yeah. Okay, so okay. yeah. Right, so yeah. Not the same, not the same guy, guy. Right. We're good. We're good. All right. But yeah. But. Same thing, man, we're, we're focusing on lead flow. So we're fully committed to making that work mm -hmm. at this, the same way we were committed to making flipping work. This is the one thing that we've learned in three years, bro. I'll get it out the way. Uh, flipping is like 
the, the bottom rung of the things that we want to do right now. Fortune builders, unfortunately, it's not a knock on them. They push flipping. Mm -hmm. you, did you notice that? It, it's flipping, flip, flip, flip. This is, you know, it's great for some, but reality is it doesn't work out for most. We started doing our marketing, what, like late summer, nearly? Yeah. But uh, I was telling Joey about 2019, I ran the numbers and I spent about, a, I think it was like 140,000 on wholesale fees for t all of 2019. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> Like, that's kind of what, like... That could have been right, in your... Yeah, right, if you no, put... but what rang that little bell in our mind, like, hey, maybe we should, instead of always giving to wholesalers... Yeah. We should look for the deals. Yeah. Because if we juiced up our marketing by that 140000 yeah, like, you know... You know. Had so many more <laughs> deals. Yeah. Our, 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 our flow, our deal flow would just go... Because that's that's, like... 11,000, almost 12,000 a, a month, a month, right? How in marketing. <laughs> yeah. marketing, in just pure marketing. Yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money. I mean, it's a lot of money, but you but know, it's you can, not a lot. It's not, it's not a lot. If you're going to print $10,000 a month to get $80,000 a month, yeah. you'd pay that all day. Mm -hmm. You'd pay that all day, but we didn't know that late in the game with marketing, but we see the value in it and that's where kind of everything. Yeah. So, even for us, right? We didn't we didn't really do marketing. We we were getting a lot of deals through relationships, yeah. basically, like yeah. Facebook, which is good. Uh, knowing people, uh, things like that, and you know, wholesalers. That's relationship. You know, other realtors. Yeah. You know, so that's how we were doing it, but it was not consistent. Yeah, not not that, steady. That was the thing. It wasn't consistent, and we wanted to increase our volume. Yep. But we couldn't because it was it was like. Okay, everybody's talking to the same wholesaler yep, yep. or realtor. There's they only one deal, yeah. right? And yep. you got 10, 20 people talking to that same person. Yeah. And now it becomes like a bidding. Yeah, yeah it's... Know, so, and we don't want to pay. No, we don't not at all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> so we want the deal. Right? Although the sellers that I'm talking to these days, even though it's off market, they, they have some obnoxious ideas of how much their houses are worth, though. <laughs> It's always been like that, believe it. Re regardless of the situation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because like I'm like, how much did you want? Yeah. <laughs> how no, much? Like, although, like, our VA hasn't necessarily gotten us, like, a full, a full deal just yet, mm -hmm. she almost got us one, and then she actually got us a listing for, you know, for one of our realtors. Okay. So, like... It's something, right? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. generating something. For us, I, I hate being on the phone. That's like my one, I'm good in person, we can talk in person, but me calling randomly, I, I couldn't take the abuse of, uh, I couldn't take, <laughs> of cold callers. Like, so it's... Here's, here's one good story that I did, I could tell, you know, I could tell them, because we're also doing the, uh, the text, on okay. SMS, and, but then in the text, you know, it's my number, that's, you know, that, that it, my Google number, that's showing. So what happens is, you know, we, we send oh. a blast of text, right? Yeah. We get all these responses. <laughs> it, That's a lot. You know, you could feel it. The, uh, like, the people are upset. Like, you know, the, the, yeah. <laughs> all, these, all these words that's coming yeah. out of their mouth. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? It's crazy. I, I, I call. Can you, I can't. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play right. it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> oh, let me see. Maybe the volume's not let me, uh, but it's too I much. know the, it's too much. I yeah. felt it like, you know, like you, there's too much, like, you know, too much hatred. That's just on a text. <laughs> I was on the phone. I'm on the phone with these guys. Like, I'm like, and you know, we're supposed to approach with, we're trying to help you out. We're trying to help you out. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you're, they, you're you, always going to get that. Yeah. But so I, this is what, no, oh, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna play one more time. You're gonna curse out. Fuck you. <laughs> she just called. She took the effort to call you and message oh, you that. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a voicemail. Yeah. From somebody, you know, yeah. we, we cold call. So I know the feeling, man. It's it's not good. That's why I was like, you know what? My heart can't take it. I'm a positive dude. I try to look at everything. But yeah. You get you get beaten down, bro, on the phones. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? Let's uh, get a VA. 
like when uh, when I received those texts, I called this guy. I'm like, dude, what is going on? What's this? I'm like, you know, I, I can't take it. You know, I, if, I get yeah. offended. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's yeah. Personal, right? It does. It does. So that's you why know, we're like, like, know your weaknesses, know your strengths. This is my weakness. So. Yeah, I. No, it's it's funny. Believe it or not, like yeah, I, I I'm the same way too for the most part. So. Like, when I got started, my first deal, uh, what I did is, like, I had, like, this letter I, I made, I printed it out, rolled it up, put a little bow on it, and, like, dropped it off yeah. at everyone's house. The letter says I knocked on your door, but even you didn't that, do I didn't do it. I was so scared. Yeah. Uh, like, it's scary doing yeah. that. It's scary doing it, that. It, but it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking when you're, you know. Dude. Then, when they called me back and... Like, they left me a, like, because I, I was even scared to answer the phone after they, <laughs> that they were calling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, when they left the voicemail, though, it was, like, heartfelt for, like, a minute asking for help. Yeah. So, that's what gave me the confidence, like, okay, it. let me call back. Like, let me schedule the meeting yeah. to sit with them. And, like, even, even I, I had no idea what I was doing. Like, I figured it out along the way. Yeah. Like, just what I can do to help. Yeah. You know? So, so the same. I, I get it because, like, you know, fear is definitely something that stops or, like, even get you know being offended or like you know emotions yeah. run deep. So that's one of my weaknesses. I take, I'm, a, I'm, a, you know, I take heartfelt. I, every little thing that is somebody says, I'll take it. You know, heart, heart, you're not supposed to, right. but it's just my personality. I know it. It's a weakness, right? But it is what it is. So let me ask you guys, what are your like one or two favorite? Uh, books or podcasts or audio book. Okay, other than yours, right? Other than yeah, other than yours. Okay. It could be yours. All right. <laughs> so um, my favorite. I'll go with my favorite book, and I think it's made the biggest impact on my life. And it's not even real estate book, okay. and it's uh, Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits is about how you should program your mind. Basically, if if you're not big into uh, you know your mindset. This is a book that kind of tells you you can break habits, build new habits, and from then on, just implement it. What this book pushes is make little changes every day, minute changes. Mm. And the, the effect on that, for me, a year from now, I, I don't know if you saw the post. I did it about a year ago, and it was, again, the book that I recommend to everybody. Okay. That's my number one book. Well, you know, Atomic Habit is maybe not my, my number two book. <laughs> <laughs> but the first one is Never Split the Difference. Okay. okay. Yeah, I like that one because I tried to, I, I, th I thought I could use it when I'm trying to talk to uh, contractors before. <laughs> so <laughs> so that's, why, that's why I liked it. You know, whenever I, when I, whenever I read something, so um, I try to remember it and try to apply it. So that's why that one and again, Atomic Habits because again, just make few, slight changes every day or, what, or whatever. You know, something positive in a day, or it's, it's, it, those are like, you know, those are uh, life changing. Yeah. So, never split the difference. What, which technique did you try to use on the contractors? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. So, the thing is, the way you just ask questions, mm -hmm. you know, in uh, never split the difference, um, never split, yeah, yeah, uh, never split the difference says, you know, you, oh, you don't want to ask yes or no questions it's always going to be like how we can work it out you know or what can we do to work to to make it work mm -hmm. you know and the the, the, the pauses you know the, the <laughs> way you like you know the way you handle the situation when you're talking to them you don't want to jump right into it you yeah. know you just want to like feel the situation mm -hmm. you know those small things now those are the big different big things because we always say hey you know um you know, can you do this for me? Can you, can you, can you make it work for this amount? It's a yes, no yes, question. No, it's, it's, right. it's, if, if, if they say no, that's it. It's the end of it. Yes. But if you say, how can we work this thing out? Okay, that's a good one. Right? Yeah. So that, that's like, you know. And sense. I'll give you yeah. props. He's really good with the, the silence. Like, <laughs> like the pauses. I don't know if you guys use that in your, like, I'm uncomfortable. Like, this dude said something and no one's responded. But you know how they said, keep it quiet, right? Yeah. So he's really good at that. But, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, you pause and you just let them talk next. He's really, I'm in the background like, 
oh man, this guy's not saying anything. <laughs> so that's why he does our negotiations. Yeah. So, so there you go. Yeah. I learned that. From yeah, from the book. the book. I remember from oh, the book. Cool. No, it, it's it's really cool that you actually are implementing things. Yeah. Because I read tons of books, I don't implement. No. Anything. Oh, <laughs> no. dude, I do. That's the one rule I have, even for my kids. One, from a whole book. One takeaway. What's your one year one takeaway? It's not had to be massive. Yeah. People think that you're gonna change that it has to be this massive change. Yeah. So that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, love I that never book. liked books. Because when I you told this guy, you know, um I either read a lot of textbooks. Mm. You know, mm. you know, um when I was in college. A lot, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I, that's why that that's why, you know, when uh, this guy was telling me Start reading a book. Right? I'm like, no, man, I don't like reading yeah. books. You know, but then after that, I gave it a shot and I started like. Yep. Reading. How many books did you read last month? Uh, last year, you said. Last year, I had like what, thirteen? Yeah. From not did reading you books. Read it or, or, did you do I have, yeah. I have read, I read books and audio books. Okay. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess uh, this is probably one of our last questions. So one of the best pieces of advice you guys have been given or given someone or you would give someone to I can use an example of, of um, uh, as far as mindset because we had a couple of newer investors newer than us approached us mm -hmm. they had a project and they were having setbacks yeah as like everybody else and um, they approached us kind of like you know oh, what are we gonna do like pulling your hair out type deal you know what I mean yeah. everyone's been through that and I just talked to them listen regardless of what how you react you got to finish the job Right? Don't look at this as right now. Look at it three months from now when the job is done. You might lose a little money. Then we told them our story. Hey, we lost money. We're still here. But the little encouragement, like if you just look at everything in the long term, that's my big thing. I have nothing right now, but I'm building everything for 10 years from now, 15 years from now. And that's what I told them. Basically, listen, don't, don't get caught up in, in this specific project. This is not the last project. And honestly, they, to this day, they're like, listen, you guys giving us the time, giving us that advice really lifted us up. So that's the one thing I have for everybody. Don't, don't look at the immediate returns, gains right now. That's, you know, that's look for it 10 years from now. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as far as I'm concerned, um, um, I don't know if it's an advice or something, but you know, um, I want to be like, I always say this, I don't know a lot, but I know, you know, I know something. I, don't, I may not know everything, but I know something, mm -hmm. you know. So I want to be like a resource, you know, um, like what Ruel is saying with this, um, um, the couple that, you know, who um, basically um, ask for some sort of an advice or something. So we want to be like some sort of a resource, like what you guys are doing, like what you're doing. Whenever I ask something, I need something, I always ask Joey. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> we do, so we do. I, I want to do, do the favor in return to like, you know, if I could help and I, if I could be a resource to these uh, newer investors, I will do it. Because, because again, you know, that's what I do with, with you. So, and I, and I, I really, really, really appreciate that. Yeah. No so, yeah. So, how, <laughs> we, wanna, we blew up, we blew up his phone. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> really, you know, it's my pleasure, really. No. So, so that's, that's that. So, you know, although, you know, based from the, the, the first property that we, that we had, you know, um, I always say, don't chase, don't chase the, uh, the deal. Yeah. You know, stay with the numbers. Don't chase it because if you chase it, it'll bite. <laughs> <laughs> bite hard. It's going to bite hard. <laughs> We could, I'm sure we could talk all night, but we, yeah. again, I, I'm just going to say this out loud so everybody knows. Much appreciated. You guys have always like, showed us love and supported us, and that, 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 that don't think that goes unnoticed. So we appreciate it. Thank always. You. No we, all, we always do. Yeah. You know, Thank you. you. Hopefully in return one day we can uh, reciprocate. Oh, no, you right? guys already are, so thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Absolutely. Hey, Thanks. always. Yeah, and again, uh, big shout out to... The singing realtor. And the singing realtor. Behind the <laughs> there. Singing realtor, bro. Yeah. Yes. And our producer, She Love. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, very thank, you much. thank you. Yes. Always helping us out. And to Virtually Soul and Jay, thank you very much, guys. Of course, Bye. like and subscribe the podcast. Thank you. Have a good one. Take care. Peace.